Oh, that's cool. Hey guys, Edgar with Under Authority here in the heart of the Silicon Valley in San Jose, California for SID Display Week 2025, where they're gonna showcase the best of the upcoming screen technology there is to see. We've got LG, we've got TCL, we've got Samsung, we've got a bunch of other manufacturers showing off what they have. They're just trying to show us a bunch of ideas of what this display technologies can do for us in the future, in our vehicles, in our smartphones, in our tablets, and, and many other things. Let's go take a look at them and see what the future of displays is gonna be like. So where do people get food here? I haven't seen any actual restaurants or like coffee shops. That's kind of worrisome. I guess I'll go outside like the peasants. Hey guys, Edgar here again and we're here at the LG display booth. So one of the coolest things I've seen both at CES and at Display Week is this transparent display. I mean, look at it. You can see through it and you can actually buy this for $50,000. 50,000. It's got a 4K display and a 45% transparency. I mean, it's just super cool. It's just something else. And it's a, I, get, I mean, maybe someday in the future, I can imagine it in my living room, right? It's like just a window. Apparently it has a 90% color gamut, you know, display. And uh, I've been told that you can actually have the sun directly in the back and you can still differentiate like the definition and the colors and the, the brightness and all of that. It's also $50,000 though. So. so maybe LG sponsor me? I don't know, think about it. So here's one of the coolest display technologies that impressed me. And it's this cool screen, right? It's not the highest definition, it's not whatever, but that's not what they're showcasing. They're showcasing a zero bezel display. Take a look at the middle here. It looks like it's just the middle of the screen. But when it opens, the pixels extend right to the edge. There's a cool factor, right? Again, it's a concept. It's not in any products yet, but it might be soon. Imagine a tablet or a phone without bezels, or there's just a screen, a monitor that you could have in your computer, you know? And I think that'll make for thinner phones, bigger screen to body ratios, and it'll, you know, bring some cool OLED technology to smartphones and tablets and computers and monitors and TVs. You wanna guess what this is? I'll let you know, it's actually a display. And this is what LG display calls a stretchable display because it's stretchable. You can turn it into any shape you want and you know, just use it. So you wanna see it in action? Come with me. When you touch right here, it comes up because it's a stretchable display, right? And it's using all the technology. So it's super deep blacks and very bright colors. You pick the music, then look down here. The volume buttons come up as well, and you can control it from here. There's a touchscreen as well. It's really cool, but we're only seeing it in a very surface level type of deal here. The buttons and stuff, yeah, they're fun, but they're not gonna change your life, right? It definitely enhances the possibilities, and it definitely brings options to the table that we didn't even think were possible. So some engineer out there is gonna come up with a great idea that I can't. We're here at the TCL booth. It's one of the biggest companies at Display Week, so we're trying to see what they have in store. Right from the get-go, I came upon this. You may think it's a painting. It looks like a painting. So this is actually a screen. It's a TV, and you'll be able to tell right now. See that? It's like matte display. So it's got a 4K resolution. It's a 68 PPI, 10 hertz refresh rate. So that's 10 frames per second. It's meant for displaying art and it's meant for maybe using as a picture frame. But yeah, let's go look at the other stuff TCL has to show us. We've got FMM OLED and there are multiple applications that really make it stand out. Over here, they're showcasing the world's first under display face authorization. So there's a right under the camera and you can kind of see, you can see my face here. Hey guys, how are you? Edgar with Android Authority here. Um, it's pretty cool, right? Because it's actually under the screen kind of like a fingerprint reader is now, because it's infrared, it'll make it more precise than an actual camera and stuff. And you can use it in the dark. That's kind of cool. Also, we have a demonstration here of how like refresh rates can be improved with this FMM OLED technology. This one can go to 240 Hertz display. Right now, the hottest phones like the Galaxy S25 Ultra, Pixel 9 series and that, 
they go up to 120 which is this right here and this one can go all the way to 240. How much of a difference does that make? Some may think that 240 hertz is kind of overkill, but it's nice to be able to have it if you want it. Why are other manufacturers not giving you 240 hertz? They can. Everything has a price, right? One of those prices is battery life. But FMM OLED technology has a solution for you. If we take a look right here, these types of screens actually offer variable refresh rates. So they can go from 30 to 60 to 120 to 240. And they can alternate depending on the type of content that you're watching, right? They can also alternate by section. So you could be watching this video here at 120 hertz and have, you know, Facebook or whatever in the bottom. And that one could be going at 30. So you're really only using the higher refresh rate where you need them. And that's pretty cool. And I'm really looking forward to what phones could be like in the future, right? You got higher refresh rates, but without sacrificing the battery life as much because you got the variable refresh rates. You got things like under display, like more precise, faster, face authentication and likely with TCL phones at first at least. A lot of this stuff is very concepty, you know a bunch of concepts of what the future could be like. So we're looking at this cool BOE car which uh, they're featuring all OLED technology which is, apparently is the future. The first thing that stood out to me, you can have a screen, right? And this is a 1080p 55 inch. You can have your kids back here watching little, whatever the kids watch these days. I don't get them, but you know. Over here in the front, you can see this cool, all this technology, right? And it's really dope. You got this big infotainment system here and it's touch screen. So you can like play video, it's like pure Android here without skins or anything, it seems. I could go into androidauthority.com right now, watch my things, right? But also what's really cool is the steering wheel, right? This one has an actual in-display fingerprint reader. So instead of keys, who needs keys? That's for sucker. You put your fingerprint in here and then you can do like certain things here, like control the your little apps and everything. And uh, it has an ECG monitor. So it can measure your like heartbeat and stuff, you know? And also hand detection. So they know you have your hands on the steering wheel because I guess safety, whatever. You also have all kinds of screens here, OLED. Pretty cool, right? This is for the camera right here. You can get navigation here and do all kinds of things. The guy had a remote in which you control. That's pretty much what your car could look like in like 10 years or something. It's looking pretty cool, but will it be too distracting? Will it be safe? Is it kind of too much? Are you more of a simple driver? I think I am. Well, they're excited. Yeah, I think it's a little much, you know, to my liking. So what do you think of all this stuff? You know, would you drive with all these screens or do you want your like little like, cassette tape radio and that's it? Lunchtime. Is that what it is? I guess we gotta go take a break okay. and have some lunch. So it's a pretty cool car, but what's even cooler is that they're giving out free stuff here. We got hats. We've got mice, I guess. Or maybe this is theirs. Oh no, yeah. Yeah, I guess I can't take that. Hold on. <laughs> Can I take the hat though? Oh, hey guys, pretty cool, huh? It looks like just regular posters and stuff, but it's not. This is actually e-ink technology. And we're here at the e-ink booth. And this booth is full of goodies because I, I get really excited about this stuff, right? People are trying to move to minimalist culture and like trying to simplify their lives. And there's also a bunch of applications for this kind of technology. Let's tell you a bit about it, right? Look at the colors. Look at the colors, they're so bright. But also we have uh, like devices, right? Think of like the simple phone too. These are pretty, and look at this, a name tag. This is pretty cool stuff because it, it uses little to no energy. Devices with the, with e-ink displays are known to last for like days or weeks sometimes. But we have devices like this one. Over here we got Kindles, we got Nooks, you know, the usual stuff. But one of the ones that really caught my, caught my eye, this is the Books Palma 2. And it looks like just a regular e-ink reader, but it's not. It's got a camera, it's got Android, full Android operating system. You've got your apps, you've got the Google Play Store, you've got the browser, you have the Kindle app. Because you can read with this, right? At any camping trip or at home. It expands your battery life by so much. If you ever look at your battery usage and your settings in your Android phone, most of what kills your battery is the screen. Oh, this stuff. Isn't it? This is a pocketbook ink poster 31.5 and it's pretty cool because it looks so good. It looks so real. It looks like a real painting, but it just, it's an e-ink display so you can change what it shows. You can switch to your favorite artist. You can do whatever you want with it. Look at this, the e-ink marquee. I mean, it looks very, very high end. I can't tell the pixels in it. Of course, you can have them at restaurants, you know, burritos. I'm a part Mexican, so I love my burritos. But here's what's really cool. 
This one gets my blood pumping. Because look at this. We saw it at NAMM, right? This is from Cream. And they worked with e-ink display to create like customizable guitars. And this is pretty cool. And it's active. Look at that. You can change the design. You can have it switch on its own. Just keep going from design to design. Uh, I heard them playing it live at NAMM 2025. And uh, I don't know. That guy was really good. So yeah, that's yeah. cool sh man. I can't say that on video, but that's okay. What? Cool sh <laughs> yeah. How, do you know how to play? I try try not to get insulted by all my playing, like my math skills, all right? Picking? Yeah. That is the G circle. I learned this when I was a kid. A band. Yeah, so we're taking a look at some, what, how do you pronounce that? Delvo. Delvo. Yeah. Uh, purses that I guess this company is working with E-Ink to yeah. like work the, to do this thing and they change colors. Can you tell us more about these? Well, so uh, we've been working with Delvo. They wanted to have an innovative uh, design. Right. This uh, this bag right here it switches from um, yellow to white. Ooh. Like that. Yeah. What if I I just wear black and gray and stuff? Black and gray. I guess that's. Well, the, that would be the best for me. Well, maybe the, this, this black and gray. Yeah, oh, this yeah. Black, this black leather all right. would, would match, yeah. but this is a. Black, oh, it goes all black and white. Black okay. and white. And then right. black all right. and um, white and black. Can I, can I try this on? How do I look, guys? I could take all my lenses here, my, I don't know, my snacks. I carry around snacks all the time. I got like a, like a Tabasco sauce. I always carry it around, you know? All right. Well, thank you for everything. It was great seeing you. So we were walking around the show floor here at Display Week 2025, right? I didn't think we would find much mobile content, but I walked into the Samsung booth and I found what seemed like a phone I had never seen before in pictures, in videos, in person or anything. And it turns out I asked around, you know, I did my magic, you know, I had to like make some people laugh and everything to get the inside scoop. And apparently it's just Samsung playing around with new designs. They called it the Polygon Foldable. And it's much like a Samsung Galaxy C Flip 6, but it comes with a new Cybertruck-like, you know, Cyberpunk, Cybertruck design. It looks much like the Tesla Cybertruck, but it's a foldable phone. I, I think they just gutted the Galaxy C Flip 6 and put a new design on it. They're just getting playful with it. It's the first time they've shown it off at actual events. This is the first event it comes to. I thought it was pretty cool. And I haven't seen any other tech websites around, so I guess we're the only ones with it. Hey guys, so that was it for SID Display Week 2025. It was kind of a smaller event, but it was also very intimate. So we got to take a deeper look at things, right? Some of the coolest things I thought were here. Were, one of them was the transparent display from LG. That thing is really cool. I just kept imagining it in like one of my windows at home, right? It's really expensive, really fancy, really high-end technology that we might see in the future, right? I also really like the e-ink technology, but not just because of the devices and the smartphones and the tablets and the readers no i really like that they're implementing it in things like guitars right in things like like a purse like i, I can imagine it in my shirts in my pants maybe in my bow when i want to go shooting and i wanted to camouflage with a specific type of trees i never imagined that we would see a concept phone here for the first time and samsung had the polygon foldable which was like pretty impressive to me it looked really cool it did kind of look like a cyber truck but it was a different take right it was a different take on a smartphone but it really gave it that um it gave it that punch to like really make it stand out and it just means samsung is really playing around with ideas right but yeah that was it what did you like the best let us know in the comments and as always see you next time